Hi guys, today, let's talk about backing up your SQL Server database. Why do we need backups? Because things can go wrong. Sometimes, hardware fails, or data gets corrupted, or maybe after we go live with real data, we realize something went wrong in production. But if we took a backup before that change, we can easily restore the previous version. That's why it's so important to always back up your database, especially before making big changes in live environments. Now, there are two ways to back up an SQL Server, using the GUI in SQL Server Management Studio or using an SQL query, which is what most pros use in real-world projects. Let's look at a simple query to back up a database. This creates a .back file, a full backup of your database, saved to a folder in file path you can choose. Make sure your folder name and file name don't have spaces and it's a valid location on your system. Like you can change that path to any folder you prefer. In real world systems, using queries is faster, scriptable, and easier to automate with SQL Server agent jobs. And don't forget, always test your backups to make sure they actually work. You don't want to find out they're broken when it's too late. That's it for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to restore this backup.